Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered in blood. Safe and sound. Sister, I haven't read the message yet. Is it about Queen K, by then? Oh, yeah? Hello? <laughs> How many pups did she have? Oh. Not Ronald. <laughs> Are you selling all the you're selling all the others? Oh well that is that was quick. still got our other dogs. Oh, alright. What happened to the other one? He died. The other one died. Was it oh, Harvey, wasn't it? Oh, fucking hell. How old is he? Pretty sure didn't your mum have him like before we moved? Did she? Fifteen years. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I'm this, I'm this you and it, and it, and fucking everything in London, shit round here. You know what? Yeah, so so he's um he uh he had to have an operation uh what well, was an operation, it was more of a, of a procedure because he's got this um obviously where they give him the chemo. He had um he had a pit line in his arm. Um but then that came out from when he was working because obviously he was like he's a real dustman and he moves his arms about quite a lot so they come loose. Um so now he's had like it's 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 like a it's called a pulp. But it's it sits in the chest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it saves fucking about with cannulas and IVs and all the rest of it when he goes in and has his chemo every fortnight. So. But yeah, but they he, he um we had to uh, phone an ambulance last week because he um 
he was he was complaining of having pain, but see, we, like a little while ago, we had to call an ambulance because he he was in pain. Then it ended up being that he had a gallstone, um, and it, and he he managed to pass it like on his own. He didn't, so we didn't need to have any kind of surgery or anything. But because obviously with the gallbladder. Once you get a gallstone and even you don't have the gallbladder removed, it can reoccur. Yeah, so um, so then yeah, so we we thought that it was his gallbladder again, um, and it's not. It's actually it's, it's worse to be honest. It's his the lymph nodes are pressing down on his liver, which because that's where the cancer is. So, but they said, obviously, like, they gave him, like, morphine um, injections, but, n no, it's in the wrong area, it's on a main artery, so they can't remove it from there, because, obviously, they can risk, um, um, they can risk opening up the artery. And, obviously, once you, once you, once you, are, uh, one of your arteries is open, you bleed to death anyway, you're fucked. So, but yeah, yeah, no, no, but they're hoping, they, they said to him that obviously with that lymph, with the lymph nodes leaning on his liver, the way that they are, they're hoping that when he has chemo next week, that it's going to blast the lymph nodes off of his liver, and then obviously it's just a case, because it didn't help, like, because of all, because of the, the virus and everything, he, um, before, like, before the coronavirus, he was having, um, a drug called Cetuximab, another drug called Oxyplatin, and then another drug called Fluorocell um, 5-FU. Um, and the 5-FU the, the one was in a bottle um, that he had attached to him for a couple of days. The Oxyplatin and the Cetuximab are very strong fucking chemo, they're harsh chemos. Um, and the, well, the reason why he's actually put on the Cetuximab was because of me. I kept going on it, especially, so I was like, listen, I've heard about Cetuximab, but I don't want him on it. And, I was, and then she was like, she was like um, well, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so they ended up putting him on it. But then they stopped it um, because they were a little bit concerned about him spending so much time at the hospital because of COVID. And they changed it from, um, opposite, obviously, the, 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 the Cetuximab, they changed to a tablet. Um, but while he's while he's been having the tablet, he went for a scan, and he, he, while he's while he's been on that tablet, the cancer actually got bigger. Yeah, so they so they basically he's, yeah, his specialists have said, well, no, they were okay, it's trial and error, that didn't work, so we'll put you back on what was working. And um, yeah, play it by ear like that, really. Who's got that? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Just been fucking staying away from all these fucking germs. What? No, I can't have babies. I can't have babies, Kayla. No, no. Yeah, no, they, um, what? No, I'm alright. I don't want no one having babies for me. I can't do it myself, I don't want them. <laughs> I get, I do, I not get funny. Huh? No. No, I can't. No. Is what it is, isn't it? It's right. <laughs> no, what it is is like we've because it's it's endometriosis, isn't it? So with with endometriosis, it's like weeds in the garden. No, honestly, it is. That's that's how it's exactly how my surgeon explained it to me. He said what it is is basically you think like you weed your garden, you get rid of the weeds from your garden. Within a year, they're back again. It will less than a year they're back again, isn't it? Which is fuck. That's basically what it's like with endometriosis. The whole time I'm having, like, I'm ovulating, 
Um, I'm not even ovulate because I don't think like that. I do ovulate. Never that. Um, but the whole time I'm um, like having a period and whatever. Um, Hello. It's friend. yeah. Friend, yeah. The estrogen. The estrogen makes it grow. Together, we what? No. 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 There's no cure for endometriosis. The children are on speaking terms again. This. Back quick. Well, for, for IVF, you've got to have a certain BMI. My BMI is not that. Um, so I'd have to lose weight. There is so much to be done here on Damas. Yes. Um, but then it's, it's a case of... Very well, then. Well, you've got to have the money to do it. Very I've well. got the money. I am reasonably certain I shall see you again. No. I mean, if you've got certain criteria, they, but to be fair, like, it'd be all right. It, See, it'd be all right if, if I was married to a woman, they'd help me out knowing, but because I'm married to a man, I'm normal, they don't want to know. What exactly? Okay, I guess yeah. not. Keep safe. Yeah, so. But yeah, no, I've, I've, had, I've had people here, like, I've had, I've had people that have been to here saying that they're carry the baby for me and the rest of it and I just get she a job and I was like, nope, I'm not interested. Sometimes I wish I had been there. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in that life. I was just not mind that one. No hard feelings. Our time I've got a funny way of thinking, you know. I'm a bit of a cunt, but I can't help it. It is what it is. Yeah, I don't, but this is it. I don't even think that I ovulate. So if I don't ovulate, then I don't produce no eggs anyway. Well, I think they already, they already did kind of try, but it didn't work out. And then I bought, I spent so much money on ovulation kits, and they've, they've, they've never, I've never, ever had a positive um, from a ovulation test. Never. And, and you think, right, I've done... I've done right because I know obviously it's uh, it's normally from the first day of your last period, isn't it? Yeah. So what I've done, so what I've done in the past is that I've tested on the first day of my period, right through every day of my period, in case I'm one of those that ovulates while on a period, um, and still no. But then even then, I I I, I had that many tests. I tested myself from every day, from the end of one return. period to the beginning of, of another period. You so for a full month, every day, I was testing myself to see if I ovulated and I didn't ovulate. So that tells me I don't, I don't know, I can't ovulate. But then it doesn't make no sense because, like with, um, with like the estrogen side of it all, um, I can't. There's only certain birth, um, birth controls that I can only go on as well because if I go on a birth control that's got estrogen in it, I can end up having a stroke. Because my body, yeah, my body produces too much estrogen. I am glad to learn. Well, no, there isn't. Is it suitable for you? I mean, they they tried to they tried to put me on birth like they tried to put me on the pill, um, because it was just it more so because it was helping with the pain, um, because I do I am in awful pain with my endometriosis. Sometimes, like I'm on the floor crying, I'm doubled over. It's a joke. Honestly, there's, in fact, there's been times where my mum and Andrew have actually, had to, and, that, and even Matt has had to rush me to hospital because nothing can get rid of the pain. It's a horrible pain. I won't wish it on anyone. What? <laughs> Do you know what? I've I just I don't even I've got to the I, at first I was I was consumed by it because you know 